From the streetlights of Taylorsville to the spotlights of Nashville, Las Vegas, and really all points yeah. in between, country artist J.D. Shelburne has blown up on the national scene. Oh, we're so happy for him. And now he's got a new album coming out, a new music video ready for release, and several shows lined up for the summertime. He even had a baby during the <laughs> pandemic. Oh, my gosh. He's been a little busy. Clearly, J.D. has been so busy. And, J.D., we're just so excited uh, for all your success and, and to have the time with you this morning to catch up. You're a busy man. Uh, it's it's good to be busy, thankfully. Uh, it's good to catch in with you guys, too, and you guys have been longtime supporters, so thanks for having me on. So give us the rundown on what's been going on with you, uh, you know, and, and all the things that you've got coming up this summer. Well, you know, um, we sur every, like everybody, we survived the pandemic, and uh, we um, stayed in constant touch with our fans, Facebook Lives, played a few shows. I lost 86 shows last year, um, so... Uh, that gave me time to work on a brand new record. And so um, I had started on the record before the pandemic was even thought of. And when the pandemic hit uh, last year, uh, we had about another extra five months to really add more songs, go into the studio and record and, and complete this album. So uh, we finished the album around October and um, it's going to be released on Friday on all social platforms. It's called Straight from Kentucky. We're coming back to my hometown on t of Taylorsville this Saturday for a free concert at 7 p.m. in Main Street. We're going to shut down Main Street and uh, bring the entire stage, and we're just going to celebrate new music and, and get back to my community. It's a free concert. So we've, we've had quite a crazy ride, and uh, it's good to celebrate uh, success uh, back home. JD, I love that, you know, your album celebrates Kentucky. You're always proud to, like, promote your roots, even though, you know, you're at Old Red in Nashville performing and you're in People Magazine coming up. And you're actually, what, in your parents' uh, kitchen right now doing this interview? <laughs> right? You don't stray am, far I... from the folks of Kentucky. And is that kind of throughout this new album? It really, yeah. I, I came home from Nashville last night, and I'll, I'll leave this afternoon doing some media stuff. And, uh... So yeah, it's, I woke up this morning. Mom had breakfast, and uh, it's kind of <laughs> nice being back home and and uh, and seeing the folks for just a few hours. And uh, but you know, um, this where I'm sitting right now is, is where I grew up. It's it's the family farm of over 100 years. Um, you know, I've spent a lot of times on this back porch, looking out this window in front of me, uh, honing my craft, teaching myself to play and sing. You know, I taught myself to play at 19 years old in college at UK, and I had no idea that that one day I would be playing in Vegas, New York City, uh, anywhere you can think we played, I would have had any idea that dreams would come true. And I've just been persistent and kept building fans. And it's been a, a kind of a gradual climb each year. And next month I open for ZZ Top. So uh, we just kind of, you know, kept kept music current, um, just shake as many hands as I can and build fans as, as always. And we're just so grateful for so many in your area in Louisville that support us. Well, you know, uh, we could talk all day, J.D., let's be real about that. But, you know, you've not really had the opportunity to be in front of audiences over the past year. Nobody really has. But coming back to Taylorsville, what's that going to be like to perform in front of you? I mean, you, you talk so eloquently about growing up there and, and what home means to you. What's that going to be like for you? You know, just uh, I told myself years ago um, when I left Na or left Taylorsville to move to Nashville to chase my dreams that I would never forget where I came from, and uh, I still mean that. Um, this is Taylorsville's a part of my life. It's a part of my story. It's a platform for me to tell a great story <laughs> about a small town kid um, who built his own dream, really. And um, you know, to come back home to Taylorsville to play in front of my hometown fans, it's it's a feeling I can't even put into words. Um, to know that to, I'll be able to walk on stage this Saturday night to look out the, uh, to different people that have had a part of my life, you know, preachers and teachers and classmates, friends. Uh, athletes I've, I've played sports with all through my childhood. Um, just seeing those people that it's all been a part of this journey to where I'm at right now. It's, it's, uh, it's really a blessing and it's, uh, it's just something I've honestly had, had, could have never dreamed this would ever happen. And, uh, I've got so many people to thank in this town and, and I always said, I'd always come back home and give back. And that's what we're doing this Saturday with a free concert. This is absolutely free to the public. Thanks to our sponsors. And uh, we just want to invite everybody out. 2018, I brought about 7,000 people out. So if I can bring more than seven uh, this Saturday, I will be tickled. 
Well, we are going to pack this house. JD, thank yes. you so very much. <laughs> you can see JD perform a free concert in his hometown of Taylorsville, as he mentioned, this Saturday, the 26th. Information on that show, his newest music, and all things JD can be found at jdshelburne.com.